so cool. You might not be able to... Okay, yeah, you can see a big, beautiful dragonfly. I don't want to scare him, but let's see. I'm about 12 feet away. He'll let me get closer, but... Okay, so this tree, I bought it like that, and I just figured it, you know, bud and spring and stuff, and it didn't, and so I asked if they would take it back, um, you know, because, like, the other how much money from that place and they um, said only if you have miracle grow on the receipt which I don't have that so anyways I've been wanting to build a dragonfly habitat and this guy came by and I told him if he protects the garden that will be his perch his tree and I'll keep it there forever and this was like three days ago, and he's been here ever since. It's like the perfect spot to watch everything here. Like, <laughs> that's awesome. He's still here. Oh my God. How close will you let me get, baby? I can go get my real camera and, okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna hurt you. I already told you this is yours, and I keep it here. Oh, so awesome. Actually, this was just gonna be a one minute Instagram video, but, cause they cut them off when I do the longer one, they change the whatever, but okay, so might as well put a little one on YouTube. What up? <laughs> Here's some changes. Um, quite a bit. There's a missing tree over there. I'll go show you in a second. And I'll do a garden tour, but like I said, I wasn't even planning on. Um, I just wanted to show the dragonfly because I saw him when I was sitting on the porch. I'm like, oh man, you're still there. And he was here this morning during my normal weeding. But yeah, he's always there. And there's a few more that patrol around. And But yeah, so check out all that. That is a big ass tree, but like these little babies are growing and that's exciting. Put up a few more beds. <laughs> There's peppers and tomatoes blooming, oranges, just, oh my God, all sorts of stuff. But when I do a tour, I'll go through everything. But um, yeah, so this is a big tree. It was, um, it's much bigger. <laughs> when it's on the ground <laughs> but um the yeah so you know it's not her fault that she had to go but um i put new babies in here and these will be my beloved morning glories in all different colors so beautiful heart-shaped leaves will adorn her skeleton i thought that it was right to keep her you know, I mean, I couldn't, even if I chopped her all the way down, I wouldn't be able to plant a tree anyways. So, yeah. But, oh my God, these little babies are popping up too. But I like, you know, you can see the water from the front and these beds will get more sun. And I don't have a fence up yet, so I need places for things to climb. And I built that with her branches and filled everything in with twigs and leaves and it's perfectly sealed and amazing so yeah so I have the jasmine there so I'll have to put yeah the morning glory babies are there though and I just planted these like five or six days ago I had them in one of those pots I posted the a photo of three photos in one day on Instagram. Um, yeah, but dude, oh my God, and I started flowering. Finally, yay. Um, yeah, sorry, this is just supposed to be the dragonfly thing. Um, I've been having trouble getting things out here. I think the hay will finally be this week. I had to go break down and buy a bunch of bags because the other soil deliveries from random places were canceled. You know, I'm kind of out there a little bit. Um, so I've had to use whatever I could, even broken 
curtain rods and even over there with the berries I used a deer netting because I was getting lots of berries and then one day the raven said no more and started eating them all including the green ones so that's all I'm able to save there's a few more but the light anyways so um how does your garden grow? What are you doing, man? Are you following your heart or are you still making excuses? Is what, the soil's not good enough? Uh, you can't afford a cardboard and a moving tote, five dollars? Or, you know, like really? <sighs> oh, that's a baby persimmon too. I'm gonna try to dig them out and save them, but don't know if I can, but what up? It's been a while. I do have a lot on my mind and, you know, videos that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, like even over a year, have been popping up, so I've been working hard. And this is my first priority, um, obviously. <laughs> this is my sanctuary, my sacred space, my future, my home, my income, my everything, so and the bikers are out. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't know when I last showed you the house, but, oh shoot, there have been a few updates, but yeah, whatever. We'll do that another time, and I'll just give a garden tour with like every single thing that's planted. This right here, by the way, is a nanny berry. If you do not know what a nanny berry is, look it up, but it's actually pretty rare. It's sacred medicine, respiratory medicine, pain, all sorts of good, important things. Um, yeah, I've been finding out the different trees. In fact, there's a fox grape growing right there. And there's tons more out there, all sorts of different berries and grapes and persimmon orchard and stuff like that. But I'm on break. Yeah, 13 beds yesterday was a lot. But yeah, I'm still banned on Facebook. If you want to see what I'm doing, go to Instagram because that's where I'm posting stuff. And it cross posts to Facebook most of the time, so if you're like, well, what? how are you posting there? That and there's other admins <laughs> that post in my name, so sometimes they're not fake book people, but, um, oh, beetle. <laughs> Bye.